So Jack Jackson back again. We're looking at uniform distributions and one more video on those. We're talking about parameters for distribution. Now, when we talk about parameters, we're talking about things like the mean, median, mode, standard deviation, variance, skewness, and so forth. Now, you should be able to answer three of these four questions right now. What is the skewness of a uniform distribution? What is the mean of the uniform distribution on A to B? What's the median of the uniform distribution on A to B? And then the one that you probably can't answer exactly, but should have some clue about, is what are the standard deviation and variance of a uniform distribution on A to B? Okay, see if you can answer those first three questions. Maybe even think a little bit about the fourth one right now. Come back when you've thought this over a little bit. Press pause. Well, remember that skewness is a measure of deviation from symmetric. And we know that a uniform distribution is perfectly symmetric. So the skewness will be zero. And because it's perfectly symmetric, the mean and the median are the same. Where, where would that happen? That's going to happen halfway in the middle of the distribution. So when we're looking for the mean, if you look at this, we're looking for the place where this cumulative probability to the left is a half. Well, if you look, where is that going to reach a half? Well, there it is. It's when the y value is, zero, is a half on the CDF curve, and it's when this area is one half. Well, because of the symmetry that's involved, this half on the right side of this vertical line is a mirror image of the shaded part on this side. So there's the mean, and it's, well, there's the median because it's a half over here. It's also the mean because it's, if this was a, a, a little bar, this would be the balance point. Okay, now that gives us the probability of one half to the left, which is the me median. And it's also turns out to be the mean as well. And we can see the symmetry in the graph. On the uh, graph down here, this is a mirror image symmetry. On the CDF, we have a rotational symmetry where this part up here is a rotated image of this part down here. So we can see that. So anytime you have, and where is that going to happen? Well, it's going to happen exactly halfway between the A and the B. How do you get a number halfway between two? Well, you just find the mean or average them, which is just A plus B over two. So it's the mean of the, the endpoints of the interval. It's also the mean of the distribution. Now, it turns out that the standard deviation and variance of the uniform distribution are quite a bit harder to compute on the interval AB. But it should be clear to you that the wider the interval is, the more variability we have. So a larger variance and larger standard deviation comes if we have a larger interval from A to B. So it turns out the standard deviation is actually proportional to the length B minus A of the dividing interval. And I'm not going to prove that to you right now. But it turns out to be this. So here's the, what the formulas turn out to be. The mean and the median both turn out to be A plus B over 2. The skewness is 0. And it turns out the standard deviation is just the interval b minus a divided by the square root of 12. So the bigger that interval is, the bigger the variance, standard deviation. Of course, the variance is the square of that, which is b minus a squared over 12. Now, later on, I'll uh, do an example that, that uh, sort of verifies this for you. But for right now, we're just going to have to just, just sort of trust me that that's what it turns out to be. So let's put this to work for us in an example. The diameter of a rod varies uniformly between 3.99 and 4.01 centimeters. Let x represent the diameter of a chosen rod, so x is uniform from 3.99 to 4.01. What's the probability that a randomly selected rod will have a thickness between 3.995 and 4.001? Then what's the average thickness of the rod and the standard deviation of the thickness? Work this out and come back. Press pause now. So the numerator here is the uh, width of the interval. So that's the uh, 4.001 minus 3.99, which is 0 0.006. The width of the total interval is 0 0.02. So 1 over 0 0.02 is the, uh, the height of it. Uh, let's see, that's 200. So it would be, be 50, actually. 1 over 0 0.02 is 50. So you could replace that by 50 times that. 
and that turns out to be 0.3 or 30 percent. The average, both the mean and the median thickness, is just average the ends, 3.99 plus 4.01, divide by 2, that's 4. So 4, exactly 4, is halfway between 3.99 and 4.01. The standard deviation by the formula I gave to you is the length of the interval, V minus A, that's 4.01 minus 3.99, which is 0.02, and I told you you just had to divide it by square root of 12, that's approximately 0 0.00577.